Hello my chiefs, welcome to another episode of Planet Zoo Hard Mode. I hope you guys are all fine. Welcome to another episode. <laughs> Today I have some plans, okay? I thought about this a little while and I was thinking we've got to make some major changes in this freaking park because it is boring me the crap out. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is, I don't know if that was even normal English, but anyways, um, what I want to do is I want to make this llama habitat, habitat, habitat a lot smaller uh, because currently it is like double the size that they actually need. And I think if I make this a lot smaller, I can also play with the uh, power a lot more when the solar panels are being researched by the mechanics. Uh, let me see, let me see, they're still, yeah, they're still researching. Um, and then we can move on to, you know, powering a lot more in, in this park. So we can, you know, continue and add more animals. As I mentioned, as I mentioned, I don't want to do a lot of terrain modifications because that can go wrong so quickly, you guys. Before you know it, before you know it, you spent half a ton on uh, removing removing a freaking uh, move, move a freaking mountain, you know, and your part is like your park is ruined. So we're not gonna do that. Anyways, I'm going to put this in a speed build, and I am going to talk you guys through it. All right, so let's start making this new llama habitat. I'm so excited. I really wanted to change this llama habitat for a long time. <laughs> you actually hear me recording this now for the second time because I was recording this in Las Vegas, but it didn't record my voice afterwards. And I was like, oh, I found out afterwards and I was like, oh no. <laughs> so now I'm recording it through uh, Audacity. And I'm seeing the voice meters like go up and down the sound meters, so I think it's recording. But yeah, I first deleted everything that, you know, this llama, old llama habitat had. The path, the barriers, the bins, the donation bins, like everything, everything, everything. I really wanted to have a complete new start over. Um, I also noticed that the water was like so dirty I forgot to replace it and I said to you guys I need to replace the water once in a while because I don't have a water treatment facility and it's it is fine if you just use like dig a hole and put a little water in it and change it once in a while it's a little bit cheating the system but I mean um, I declared myself to be okay with it um, but you know you got to remember to, to to change it once in a while so maybe that's why my llamas were like not feeling too well. Um, I firstly wanted to make like a circle, but I thought the circle was too small. So then I wanted to make an oval, but then the oval was like too big and looked too much like the old llama habitat, like size wise. So I made the oval a little bit smaller. I added some extra path for, for guests to wander and to look at the llamas and to read the education signs. Then I started to add the barriers and I decided to use the brick again because actually I don't have anything better at the moment. I wish I already researched the fences, but that didn't happen yet. But I really wish I could use those. Those are really beautiful and I think the best for the llamas. Uh, so people, you know, every, I don't know. Every time I went to a llama, when, when I saw llamas, not that I saw a hundred llamas in my life, but whenever I saw a llama, it was like a fence. They were always behind a fence. So, I don't know, in my head it's like I need to build a fence. <laughs> but I built like some kind of um, like rounded shape barriers around it. Um, but I used a straight barrier for the backside, uh, just so I could put the door in easily. I raised it up a little bit, with the intention of making a sleeping area for the llamas. Um, this is something I was not really worried about making because the llamas, they're a, such an easy animal. They are really, um, they don't need, a, they don't require a lot of nature. They don't require, a, you know, they are not shy. You can do a lot of things with the, with the llamas in this game. They really don't care. <laughs> 
They just want to eat grass, sleep, play with their toys, and you know, that's it. They're really easygoing animals. Oh, here I, here I saw that I screwed up, ladies and gentlemen. This is the second time that I made a habitat and it was not reaching the power from the entrance. So I could not like add any education signs or anything. Ugh. And I, at this point I was like, Nadia, why are you making these rookie mistakes? Like, I don't get it. The thing is, you, ladies and gentlemen, maybe I am a little bit too harsh on myself, but I do notice that I make mistakes in these series that I normally like never make. But maybe it is different because you're recording at the same time and you're trying to make it interesting for a lot of people or like for the five viewers that are watching now. Um, <laughs> Two-way series, you just try to make it interesting for the people that are watching. And maybe because my mind is going in a lot of different places, I just, you know, for some reason forget, forget to... Um, think <laughs> uh, so maybe that's why I could do better I could do better but yeah I think I'm just being too harsh on myself I ho really hope you guys enjoyed this series and um, this series have done a lot to me already I've grown a lot in to how YouTube works um, how to make the series more interesting and less boring you know stuff like that but I'm still learning so if you have any tips for me feel free to post them in the comments because they really, really help. Uh, even if it's just, you know, I really like, I really like this episode. If you already comment that, then I know I'm on the right track, you know. They also added some new sleeping, uh, sleeping beds, like sleeping areas in the, um, in the habitat. Uh, they ha added like this leaves instead of the hay. And I really, really like the leaves. I could see me using them in monkey habitats or like animals that live in trees. I also decided to add more foliage because foliage is really important to create a realistic looking habitat and the old llama habitat that I had was a dump and the llamas really didn't deserve that because they're super cute and they need more these llamas need more <laughs> so i did that um i didn't have a lot of foliage yet or maybe this was just a foliage that was available for me um with the requirements that llamas need i don't know but um it already made the place look more realistic, more beautiful. Also terrain paint is so important, you guys, to create a realistic looking place, habitat or park, whatever. You will never see any place that has perfect, you know, not perfect, but like one type of terrain everywhere. Um, then I added the education boards and, you know, again, I couldn't have you know, I could have moved this llama habitat even further more to the front, but ugh, it just doesn't make sense in my opinion. Um, I know I am going to add more later on. I know I'm going to add uh, more power soon and maybe some more vivariums or I don't know, but it doesn't really make sense to me. This is fine. I'm going to add more later. Then I, I was going to fill up the gaps. I, again, I didn't have a lot of foliage yet, but I really also just wanted to use foliage that um, the llamas like. So I kept the filters on and I decided to use this. Uh, it looks like, you know, the plants you usually find along the water side. I also use this fence that is from Planet Zoo itself and I absolutely love this fence and I wonder why I never used it before. Um, but I, I absolutely love this fence so I'm gonna use it more now. Um, also added more benches and I established a little bit the color scheme that we're gonna use for this park which is gonna be orange and black. Um, I really like the combination of those two colors. I think it looks sophisticated and cheerful. Perfect for this park. Um, I also decided to, you know, paint the enrichment items in those colors. Added some more enrichment items here and there. 
and added another education speaker and uh, that pretty much brings us to the end of this speed build and we're going back into real time and here we are we are back i built the new llama habitat and people are actually walking through my new fence but i mean it's okay it's okay we can live through that we can live through that but yeah i hope you guys will like it um so let's see what we're gonna add now we don't have the power facility yet so i'm gonna fast forward now to see um the llamas are still happy see they're perfectly happy they have enough space they have a little more than needed actually so they're pretty happy they do need more food enrichment so we are gonna give them that let's give them some ice um, oh that is a toy that is no food enrichment mm. Thought ice was something you can eat, but never mind. Oh, they do need a, a feeding station. Hold on. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, let's put it here. Yeah. Great. And let's give them some food enrichment. Let's give them this thingy. That's the only thing that they have, by the way. So they have to be, yeah. They need all their food enrichments. Oh. The llamas. The, the queens. All right. So if all things is right. Um, oh, I still not got to add the education speaker for the llama. Let's make that a beak. Yes. So people hopefully gonna donate more. And uh, oh, also adding some more bins. But uh, I love already the fact that people are walking around a lot more. Um, so yeah, that is a really good thing. Maybe let's make some kind of seating area here too. In case people want to sit down here and look at the llamas. And here, hold on, here. Yeah, okay. I also like, I really like this little setup here. Uh, we of course have to work with what we have in this franchise. We still need to research a lot of the teams. But I'm kind of happy. Oh, look at them all eat. They're so happy. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> I know. Oh, look at the baby llamas. <sighs> all right. Let's take a screenshot. All right. Um... We do have, oh, we do have solar panels now, yay! Hype, 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 hype. Okay, so the next thing what I want to do is actually research, let's see. Um, I think I want to research the barriers because we do not have a lot of choice right now. And I really want to make this um, like an open fence. But we do have an open fence, but that is not strong enough for the llama. So, you know, we need to wait till the mechanic has researched that. In the meantime, the people are loving this new llama habitat. And the power now reaches until there. So maybe we can build something here on the roof. Um, let me see, like a... Yeah, see, this is this is kind of this is this is the plan. But you know that is no, that wouldn't make much sense. By the way, wait, wait, it does, it does. If I place one here on the roof of the llama habitat, then I could put I can put education boards all around it. I can maybe add another. Uh, maybe a souvenir shop or something or you know uh, maybe another vivarium we can expand a little make another keeper's hut um, or maybe put the keeper's hut here lots of possibilities hold on 
Hold on. Don't go. Before we go, we need to check up on the Gila monster. There is something wrong. Oh my god. What is wrong? Temperature. Oh, the temperature. No, the temperature is okay. What is wrong with the Gila monster? What is wrong? Vivarium? Oh! I think we need another... Um, we need another keeper because they can't keep up with the Vivarium and the Llamas. Yeah. I did even train him. But, you know. We're gonna get another keeper. Because it happens already like two or three times that there was either something wrong with the Gila monster or with the llamas. So uh, we're going to need them anyway because we are going to um, add some more vivariums here for profits. So yeah, let's ring a... Oh yeah, I already did that. And also, by the way, if we're here now, let's add some hiding places for the Gila monster because we're researching this animal right now so we can add some stuff. I don't know, we are still at level one, I believe, but yeah. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, the next episode will be around Friday, this Friday. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and like this video and comment about what you think should happen in the next episode regarding the power facilities or maybe you have some ideas for me. Again, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you next episode and remember a good heart always wins. Bye!